Here with Kyle Brick after a 3-2 game uh, uh, four win. Can you talk a little bit about tonight's win? You know, I thought it was our uh, best game of the series. Um, you know, the, the message was do or die. And, you know, you lose, you go home. And the guys want to spend a little bit more time together. So we're excited to get the overtime win and head back to the dam on Friday. And you talked about a Monday about uh, you had 48 hours to prepare for tonight. And you weren't overly pleased about that game. But what did you guys work on the 48 hours to get here? Actually, I did nothing, Jay. Um, I put the game on for my guys to hold each other accountable. They watched it for a couple hours and they had a good chat. And then, you know, they went out and had a nice dinner together and they got up today and got the job done. So, you know, I don't think anything's changing for tomorrow either. So, so what led to today's win, you think? Uh, I thought we were able to establish a four check. Um, you know, some guys showed up that hadn't showed up in the series yet. And, you know, one of our, uh, one of our MVPs made a big play in overtime to get us to win here tonight. And talk about Burnsy in between the pipes a little bit. Yeah, I thought Charlie was phenomenal tonight. Um, you know, I'm not going to go too easy on him. I didn't like the tying goal from the corner, but, uh, you know, as a 16-year-old to turn around and shut the door for the rest of the game and in a, in a big playoff game at that age is, is something special. So we're, we're happy for him to get the win tonight. Final thing, how do you keep the momentum going into Friday? Uh, you know, you can hear them down the hallway. I don't think I'm going to have to do much. They're... Uh, they're excited to get back home and play at the dam, and I think, uh, you know, the, how happy they are will kind of carry into Friday. So hopefully we bring the same effort, and hopefully the result's the same as well. Well, thank you.